Hi, I'm Raven. This is part one of a web services video series. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are what is a web service, creating a sample web service, understanding about a web service attributes, type of communication does web service can perform, and features of web service. So let's begin the tutorial. Web service. A web service is an application that is designed to interact or invoke a method directly with other applications over the internet. Here there is a .NET application, Java application and other applications. So when these applications consume this ASP.NET web service, at that point of time the methods will directly invoke. We will understand how these methods get invoked directly when we develop the sample application. Here web services use open standard protocols to communicate with the application. The protocols like HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, XML, Extensible Markup Language, SOPA, Simple Object Access Protocol. Web services are interoperable, so applications developed on any of their technology, they can consume the service. Web service messages are formatted as XML. Any platform can easily understand for communication. Let's we create the sample application. Click on File, New, Website. Select the template as Visual C Sharp and rename the project as Web Service and click on OK. It will create the project. Right click on the project, add, add new item, select web service, rename the service as sample web service, the extension is .asmx, click on add button. Before we create an application, let's we understand the auto generated code. Web service attribute. For this attribute, there is a property called namespace which is used to uniquely identify the service from other services. For example, my service name is sample web service. If I host this in the server, if another client creates the web service with the same sample web service name, it is very hard to find which service need to invoke or consume. So in place of this namespace, you can give your company name or website name. By using this namespace, we can identify our service. Here there is a method called hello world which is returning string. For this method, it is declared with web method attribute. What is web method? In order to explore a method as a part of web service to the client, this method is declared at the method. And the method should be public. If web method attribute is not declared at the method, when the client consumes this web service application, he not able to view this hello world method. This web method attribute has uh, several overloaded parameters has a uh, buffer response, cache duration, description, enable session, message name, transaction option. We will discuss this more detail in the later video session. For now, we will understand how this service can respond. Let's we give first name last name has the parameters to the method return string dot last name let's save our project control s and build our solution look at the status bar build succeeded let's quickly run our project This is a web service we need to consume in the client application. Here there is a link called service description. When we click on this, 
it takes to the WSDL. WSDL stands for Web Service Description Language. We will discuss more detail about a WSDL in the latter video section. For now, we will discuss about the service. Hello world. This method has been exposed by declaring web method attribute. If we remove this web method attribute, let's stop our debugging. Remove web method attribute. Let's run our project. So method method won't be appear. Undo the web method attribute and run the application. Click on the hello world method. These are the two input fields first name and the last name. And uh, so 1.1 and 1.2 are the different versions. When we look at this soap message, first name takes the input in the form of string format, last name in the fo string format and the output will be in the string format. HTTP POST This is the POST URL to request the data from the service. First name has the string and uh, last name has the string. This is the web service namespace URL. Let's we pass the two input fields and see the response. Let's click on invoke button. So this is the response. Hello dotnet Raven. HTTP protocol is the widely used protocol by the web service to communicate with the application. SOAP messages are in the form of XML format. There are three aspects of web service development. Creating the web service, creating a proxy. Proxy means creating the channel in the client application. That channel will communicate with the web service. We will discuss uh, how to create a proxy channel in the client application in the latter video sections consuming the web service in the client application how to create that system.web.services.web service is the namespace used for asp.net session state and application state in the web service web service extension is .asmx if a method needs to expose to a client that method should be declared with web method attribute and the method must be public these are the features and advantages of web service. You can collect this from my blog. Thanks for watching. For references and resources, visit these links and subscribe to my YouTube channel for email alerts. Thank you.